Hello, my name is Adele Drake, and I'm going to be walking through you through this assignment called Strings of Data. What would data look like if you visualized it in an art installation? In this lesson, Strings of Data, you will be using the computational thinking skill of pattern recognition as you create a structure with your data so as to represent meaning. Here's a quote by the installation artist, Kara Walker. I didn't want a completely passive viewer. Art means too much to me. To be able to articulate something visually is really an important thing. I wanted to make work where the viewer wouldn't walk away. He would giggle nervously, get pulled into history, into fiction, into something totally demeaning and possibly very beautiful. In this lesson, you will use the computational thinking skill of abstraction as you recognize that multiple sources of data can contribute to a final product or system. The multiple data sources can provide the meaning written into the beads, which will then be hung in a space as a final product. What is an art installation? Installation art is a term generally used to describe artwork located in three-dimensional interior space as the word Install means putting something inside of something else. It is often site-specific, designed to have a particular relationship with whether temporary or permanent, with its spatial environment, or on an architectural, conceptual, or social level. Find a place to install your strings of data project. This could be anywhere. It could be hung temporarily and then documented in photos, or it could be a place where the work can hang for a longer period of time. And here's a link that you can click on to learn more about um, the history of installation art. Start by developing a conceptual framework for your art installation. A conceptual framework. These are the ideas and concepts that drive your decision making as we work with the materials and develop techniques. An example, conceptual framework for a string of wishes. This is a project that I did with my students. In this example, students used their own wishes as data points. They created the beads with paper that would have them would have been thrown away, so upcycled paper. The conceptual framework included the following: showing who you are by making your wishes. Tension between fragility and strength. Paper is fragile, uh, but we're making it into a bead, which is very strong. And also the strength found in unity. So the individual joined with others to create this piece. Upcycling paper relates to the impact of humans on the environment and the forests and the landfills. And then using color and texture to express ourselves, our emotions. Each participant collects 10 data points. Each This is for the string of wishes. Each participant writes one data point on one triangular piece of paper that could then be rolled into a bead that can be threaded onto a string and hung. Each participant would contribute 10 beads with different data points on, in, on the inside of each bead. This can be adapted be, to be done by one individual or, or many. And here's a video tutorial on how to wrap paper beads. The line between art and life should be kept as fluid and perhaps indistinct as possible. And that's part of the beauty of an installation piece. It, you can really um, hang it in uh, people's living spaces and unexpected places where people don't expect to see artwork. And so, you know, they interact with it um, on a daily basis. Okay, once you're done, you want to write a reflection. What data did you visualize in your strings of data art installation? What is the conceptual framework for your strings of data project? What site did you choose to hang your strings of data beads in? Why did you choose this place? What paper did you choose to use for your paper beads? Did your choice of paper support your conceptual framework? What did you struggle with you what did you struggle with during this project? What would you do differently? What was successful about this project? And what did you learn 
that you can use again in another project. All right, that's the reflection. And I hope you enjoy this assignment. Thanks for listening.